Okay, guys, I'm just, I'm gonna do a little bit on here and then go on Diamond Bar. So let me get my hair chalk because I told Christina to put wax on. Oh, let me go grab it real quick. You all have to go out this stuff yourself. Out. of every opportunity. They like coming back inside. So I'm going to explore. <laughs> oh, you little peanut. Yes, when I was a child, I have to ask my mother if they still have that book. It was called Ping the Duck. And it was a terrifying story of these ducks. They were poor or something and they would get let off this boat to go eat or something. Yeah, it was in China. And um, then the last one to come back always got hit. Yeah, that was the story. That was the story. The last one, that, the last one and always got hit. So your motivation was to not get hit. But that was the story. But, it, you know, there's got to be something. They have an innate motivation to try to get there first. If you survive on a horse, it's have it too. Of course it's have it too. It's just... If you said all of them have it in the same degree, no. Not even close. Oh, they're absolutely perfect. All right, let's see if we can get the laying down going. Elbow them out of the way. Janice did it. If Janice, I, I, she did. 
people do it. You can't, if you said, what does that say? Bring it on, bring it on. If you said, what is this self? I'll defend it with everything. I'll defend it with everything. If you said they're not tired. I'm going to put your marks on you. punch a hole in a ball. You see how they're not bothered. concerned you're going to fail like you did in the last one. I don't even really remember what was wrong with them. I'll go back and find the old videos though, girl. I, I'm pretty sure, I know it was on video. I mean, I would think, I think it was. I think I remember you guys, because you brought your mom and stuff and that ex, remember? And you guys came to, you drove them down here or something, you were going to the Keys or something. for like three weeks or a month or something. They did good though, I mean, they were very smart. You know, it's just a wee little peanut. Ew, little peanut, just as it changes to... Chester just has a little bit thicker nose. Oh, just a little thicker nose. All right, hang on, let me get the chalk. Chester, where are you, Chester? I'm pretty sure this is Chester. She's still. She's still the two And. Buttercream has a blue butt. <laughs> he's easy to tell because he's darker. Three, honestly, they. Oh, here's Chester. Here's Chester. All right, wait. No, that one was not Chester. They look very. I'm gonna microchip them too, so I don't want you to worry. But I don't know if you said, well, if they were switched at birth, I got the wrong one. That did happen before, so help me God. If I can think of this girl's name. She came back and bought several more dogs from me. But she pulled out of the driveway. She was driving some BMW or something. She had the kids in there. And she said she was driving like 60. Oh yeah, this girl was. She was headed back to South Florida. If you said what happened. She got about 10 minutes down the road, and I looked at the puppy, because she was picking from two of them, and I said, shit, I gave her the wrong one. <gasps> oh. If you, that was like 20 years ago. I said, shit, I gave her the wrong one. They were that similar, there, but there was some slight difference. They were microchipped and stuff, but I mean, I had maybe assigned one this name and assigned one that one, and I wasn't saying, this is this microchip number or whatever. Listen, you little feisty biter. All right, let me see which one did I just put the blue marks on. This might be yours, Carolina. No, that's chilly. This must be the girl there. The girl in Chester looks similar. No, that's chilly. All right, this must be, this is the girl, okay. Every single second, trying to figure out which one was which. Right, so that's his. Oh, the red. 
And then, Sandy, this is yours, the little. Oops. Oh, sorry. Don't eat the chalk. I think you said, does it hurt him? Oh, God. So let me see if this one is Chester. Okay, so this one's Chester. This one's got to be chilly. I have to put those two together. There's two that look identical. But one's a little bit bigger. It's, it's true. I mean... It, People without tuplets probably can't tell them apart either, or sex tuplets. If you said they can't, I doubt they can. Not <laughs> Pretty sure, Kendall, and that's chilly right there. Look at that baby pet. Oh, you little chilly chunk. All right, let me put him back on. Oh, what happened to him? She put red. I just put red nail polish on him. Oh my God! Oh, they're all cut up. Yeah, they're covered with cuts, which was really the marks from this nail polish. Yeah, they're they're covered with cuts. He said, you seem very jaded and it's like, I am jaded and sarcastic. Just getting sick of people's idiotic. Some guy was watching the, the puppy video on YouTube. Goes, oh, I saw an oil slick on the water. It ruined everything. Yeah, right, dude. There's an oil slick on the water. If you said, what is he saying? That water is full of iron and minerals. Everything else. This idiot. If you said, what else? Oh, there's gators. Aren't you scared of gators? Oh, my God. No gigantic gator is going to start living in an F and half acre pond and be wide open for any kind of threat. It's just not going to happen. All right, so look. You said, what's that paper? I used the old Christmas wrapping. If you said that, I forgot which one was which. This one's Butter Crunch. That one's um, Sandy's. Here's I, I, try, I try not to get. Nobody ever keeps the names. I guess they do sometimes. I guess they do keep the names sometimes. If they don't keep it, then I just name another one in it. There was a very special one, Chester, and my friend Mason bought it. He still has them, but he didn't like that name, Chester. Oh, shit. He didn't like that name, Chester, so he changed it to Chopper. If you said that was much more like a man's name. No, for sure. Chester? Ow, that was way too nerdy. He liked Chopper. Devious. Devious. I said, oh, they're getting this 
bag of food in there. Oh my job. Yeah. He said, so you mean you just get distracted and I just decided to cause trouble? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what Josh said. Yeah. I try to help people understand. That's how they are. That's what they do. <coughs> They're not here to serve you and give you unconditional love. They're here to be a cop. That's our problem. And you look so cute doing it. This by far. Little peanut. It's Chester. Chester, oh, Chester, did you fly at me, Chester? But he sits. People need to understand sitting still like that is a precursor to motion. If you said, what, what would you not want to do? Augment that, Chester. Musical chairs. Yeah, more ego crippling games. He sits back a little bit. If you said, what should you do? Bring them in. It's, it's not bad, but what you don't want them to do. There's something called arm's length syndrome. I'll post that. Zach. I'll put you in my group, Christine, since you just love watching the videos. There's this guy, Zach George. I mean, it's literally a tutorial on how to teach a dog to stay an arm's length away. Every time this puppy comes, they're barrel rubbing its head, barrel rubbing its head. It's not saying to itself, I'm gonna run into a head barrel rub. No, nobody is. And so by the end of the video, the dog is literally staying an arm's length away from these people. So if you said this guy's training resulted in that, yeah. And if you said that's gonna to lead to catastrophe, oh, absolutely. Once it starts staying two arms lengths away, and three arms lengths away, and once it just decides, ugh, I need a break from these people. That's what happens. I need a break from these people. Uh -huh. You little peanut. Uh oh. You little peanut. You should put away my hand. You know, I've got some ability to move away. If you said, what would cause the ability for them to go away? If I had always grabbed for it and fought them over it. So there's always this sort of drawing to the handle thing going on. Listen, little pushy shubby. This is chilly. See, that's why I put the marks on. Then I forget which mark was which. You said put a different color on each one. I didn't have enough of the different colors. One color was silver. No, I did have the orange, though. That's chill. Oh, this is Chester. That's Chester. That's butter crunch. This is Carolina's. This is chilly. And then that's mixed. That's asleep. There's always one to sleep. But I got that one picture of five of them together. I mean, it was, it was a miracle. If you see, you can get a picture of five of them, but not all looking. If I was picking one for service, I mean, it would be that one. It's very Johnny on the spot. How the hell do it though? I should put it right in my hand. Hey, that beyond cute. Beyond cute. My mom was like, oh, they have labs in the paper here, but they're not as cute as yours. I said, mom was a $500 labs. <laughs> oh, oh. 
know what she understood. <laughs> That's what you call the garden variety. You know, if people want that, fine, but, you know, don't, there is such a thing as, you know. Oh, she's trying to get up there and get it. You little pig. get up there, but they kind of need it to be like by the blanket or something, so they got a little boost. All right, hang on, let's get rid of the rest of these treats. All right, see if we can get them laying down. They're looking kind of tired. If I can get them laying down, then I can just do it. Oh, this one's a little, watch her, she's going to do it. This one's making its mission to be a companion. You guys owe it to these dogs to either follow along with these videos or send these dogs back here and get trained because it really, it's not an accident. She's too busy too. If you said, how do you know the way he's very entitled to take the treat and well deserving of it? Yeah, it's not time, but he's, you know, bum, bum. I saw that coming. He said that was a tell. It kind of was. It was very subtle. Very, very subtle. If you said you'd be good at poker, I probably would be. If you said, how would you get good? I would study video footage of the other players. <laughs> In slow-mo. In slow-mo. She might come and go right there. If you said it's a coincidence, it gets to a point of it can't be a coincidence anymore. <laughs> you just can't be a coincidence anymore. You know, and that's, I was trying to explain that to my parents, but they don't really understand about training dogs. But if, if everything copies everything else. Like, you know, I said, for example, if it, they didn't, we wouldn't have Pinterest. <laughs> It's all set up about copy, copy, copy. Copy, copy, copy. Here's an idea, here's an idea, here's an idea. That's who they are. What's, an, what's a good idea? If you said dogs don't get high off running fast. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. You know, it's endorphins. It's all these other things. You know, if you're robbing them of that, if you're the antidote to that, you're, you're just something to be circumvented. said, I can't stop myself from reaching for its head, reaching for... You're, you're going to ruin them. You're going to ruin them. If you said, no, I personally like something reaching at my face all the time. If it, it wouldn't be get out of my face, I mean, you know, if, you know, that would be a valid, okay, this guy got up and got right in my face. You know, that's never a good thing. Got right in my face. Yeah, they don't want that either in their world. She's like, I, 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 I need to get like a little teeny tiny little service harness for her. How cute would that be? This one brings me a piece of paper. 
So if I drop it, she's going to go forward probably. So it's now basically got two behaviors. Lay down and pick that thing up. If you said, well, I already had those behaviors. That's what you have to understand. You're, you're working with what's there. You know, if somebody said, well, we're going to do a makeover on you, well, we can only work with what's there. Oh, oh that sounds believable. <laughs> yeah, and then you're going on this extreme, I used to love that show. They said the show Extreme Makeover, where these people, were, I mean, you'd have to be like a really bad case. Like buck teeth coming out the side, nose this big, no, no chin, you know, receding jawline, all of it. You'd have to be a hot mess. And then they would get you in there and do 40 plastic surgeries on you in one day. Yeah. It was called Extreme Makeover. I don't even know if they still have it. And it was, I just, it was great. If you said, why? I mean, they had, they could work with more than what was there. Because <laughs> some of these people, I mean, it was such a hot mess. You know, if they had like a really bug teeth or something, I mean, hopeless, just really just, you had to be just hopeless case to get on the show. Yeah, if you were even remotely attractive enough, you're out. It had to be almost a hopeless case with an extremely sad story. Then you were in. You were in for thousands and thousands of dollars worth of free plastic surgery. And if you said, what else? And then they gave them, here's just, she's dead. Then they gave them counseling, too. If you said, why? So that they could deal with their new, improved self. So they didn't just go crazy now that they were getting all this attention. If you said, that's kind of how they were, that they were. Some of them were kind of like, oh, I'm so hot now. If you said, were they? Not really. I mean, I don't know. It was just a funny show. That was the part, though. I mean, they would kind of make them, take them from one extreme to the other, you know. So then you would wonder what, you know. Now they're going to be strutting around, you know. Doing God knows what. Start drinking. Anything could happen. <laughs> you know. Make up for lost time or whatever. Or they'd always have, like, some kind of jealous husband or something. Yeah. They had a couple like that. Oh, my husband likes me the way I am. He said, based on the way she looked, that probably wasn't possible. <laughs> it's true. I didn't make up the show. I didn't make up the show. If you said, who, the plastic surgeon is there. Yeah. You little peanut. Hey, <laughs> you got to move back in my direction. You're always think, just moving in my direction. All right, I'm going to let these fall asleep, and then that one that's sleeping will wake up. I can work with that one, so. You see, he chronically does this behavior, though. He, this one, too. It's, it's positioned itself right there. If you said, should we keep reaching down, bumping her ribs? You don't do that. It, it, it's it's going to make him go away. If you said, show me evidence. I can show you evidence after evidence. It's, it's all over the internet. The dog giving them the shake off and then going away from them. If you said then what? They just keep calling it back over? <laughs> if you said, does it come? No. <laughs> That's a better slider. So you got your arms like this, but then you can kind of bring them in. You're always being more introspective. If you said how far out from your body are you going? If you said is it an axe, it's not. It, things can't just keep being a coincidence forever. So 
So if you said you're thinking of yourself in terms of, of the, you know, what kind of handler am I presenting? I'm presenting a seated handler, but I still have the ability to move. Ah! Oh my good lord! I still have the ability to move and put them out of my eye line. So that doesn't work at all. I just, I don't have any reaction. I don't react at all. If you said, say no, no, no. Oh, that's not going to do any good. If someone says no, no, no to me, I don't say, oh, okay. People tell me all the time, stop using these collars. If you said duty, no. If I would have listened to when I first started going on YouTube, oh, you better stop using those. Oh, okay. If you said, who were these losers? I don't know, but I'll go back and find them. I will. I was bullied so much on there. You know. Oh, you shocking dogs. Oh, I don't need a shock collar. Just, and then if you said, then what? Cyber lynch mobs. Cyber lynch mobs. All going on there parroting what the other people said. So if you said, just minions, these people. What, it's what they call flying monkeys. No, I don't, I'm understanding more now. People that just act on the behalf of these narcissistic cyber lynch mob formers. Listen, you little peanut. So I've moved her out of my eyeline. She wants, oh, they found the lid. You found the lid, little peanut. All right, watch. Anyway, Sandy, you're going to keep that up. I don't know which one this is. Like that one's chilly. That one's chilly. This is yours, Carolina. That's yours, Sandy. She likes that position right there. If you said that's the first time, that's the 20 something time she's done that. So if you said, I like that, oh, so do I. I also like a dog facing the handler. You guys are going to have a lot to work with. This is very, very exciting work. You little peanut. Oh, he's got a sticker bird on his tail. I don't want you guys to worry if you find one of these on him. If you say, it's nature's Velcro. <laughs> I'll just stick it on here for now. You little peanut. You really don't want to lure them, though. If I look back when I was lured in, I sit there and say, how did I let people talk me into doing that shit? I'm actually mad at myself. I am. If I, if I in hindsight, think I was lured into doing something. It. You know, in hindsight, if you said, how do you know? If the situation presents itself again, I don't feel comfortable. That, that's how I know I was lured into something. If the situation presents itself again, then I have a good feeling. Yeah. If you said, so you're not just plunging headlong into a similar experience. Said words are the most important thing. It's not to them. Not to them. He's already, she's already doing the chin rest. Oh, that's chilly. He's doing the chin rest. I hope you're amazed, Sandy. I'm so glad you're doing that. You know, you're 
you're just appearing. If you said you saw anything, you're not. You're making, you're making an action result in a reaction. of frenetic energy. Oh, I love puppies. Oh, I just, I want to touch it. I want to hug it. Oh, I want to give it kisses. If somebody said that about me, I'd be like, oh, don't touch me. If you said, what are you saying to myself? I'm saying I better get more than one behavior going. I better start getting them moving in my direction or I'm going to be in trouble. That's what I'm saying. You said, it's got four legs. It can be way faster than me. I didn't buy it to chase it. for things. He said, well, we say sit. It's, it's, it's honestly that there's some collective conscious. You make them wait for their food, you make them sit, you make them shake, you make them high five, and then you say, look, it's trained. It's, it's disturbing. All this, everybody, over, the whole time I've been trained dogs, they all say the same thing. It already knows how to sit. We make it wait for its food. If you said, are they then able to demonstrate this training? Yeah, I got a few painful demos. Oh, you little peanut. Good thing I could hear it. I see how the sound helped. All right, I'm gonna try to maybe go get a couple other things done. If you said not much. Oh, I'm gonna do a movie though. Oh, I gotta get the chalk off of it though. Cause Frisbee's here and I wanna redo the film. Oh my God, I gotta get it off. It'll wear off pretty fast. I can wipe it off. Um, the one where Labrador Father, that's the dog that was in that film. That's the dog Frisbee. So he's here right now. So I wanna take these and Frisbee. Right, listen, I'm going to do a quick video. I'll be right back. Oops. Anyway, this is just going to lay down. So that was the exhale. That might make a video. It's like puppy Einstein, that's what I should call it. I want to talk to Sharon. I mean, I think honestly I could, you know, say, well, this is a series of a litter of puppies from three weeks to, of course, they'd have to hear a lot of my annoying stories too. Yeah, let me put a disclaimer for that. But just string all the footage together into one long film and say, here's how I did it. And and if you said, well, is this the first time? No, it's not the first time I ever did it. And, well, you know what? We could do a couple, we could do like three different litters of Labrador puppies, Primrose Puppy School. And if you said, why did you stop calling it that? Because that guy, Chris Watts, that murdered his family. That's where the kids went. The school was called Primrose, I swear to God. 
So I said, well, if you said what I said, I said, that's out. Anyway, all right, listen, I'm going to make a couple videos about... Trust me, I know all about these German shepherds. Oh, I don't know if you saw my post this morning. You know, if you've got one, any dog, really. But if you said you'd be more nervous if there was a missing German shepherd than there was a missing lab. Yeah. Yeah. I think I know. Look at this thing encounter. You know, so you just, it's, they're not just born. I grew up watching Lassie and everything, too. I read all those books. I had the all wrong idea about how dogs thought. <laughs> what a disservice these books did. Yeah, I thought they just figured out what you wanted and did it. Even that one horse, Fury. You didn't even need a saddle or bridle. If you said, what if you, Fury knelt down if you couldn't get on, Fury would kneel down. In fact, one time I think Fury even helped lift the person onto their own back so that Fury could take the injured person. One time, Fury pulled someone out of a well. I mean, it was a stallion. It was a stallion. Did he need a saddle or bridle? If you said, then what? Then I grew up in Red Collar, the wild. <laughs> if you said, well, what's the Cliff Notes version? At the end, it ran away. <laughs> At the end, it ran away. <laughs> All right, hang on, hang on. Anyway, Alexis, listen, I was going to tell you, there's a pet transport that will pick the dog up and drive it here if you have to work or whatever. I don't think it would be that much just because it isn't that far. They just would pick the dog up and drive it here. Then you could drive and pick it up when it was ready to graduate. I was just telling people about that. Just if you said, why well, I use it all the time. That's how I got that Doberman puppy here. If you said, so to avoid driving to the airport, you paid these people to drive to this kennel and bring this puppy to your house. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. To avoid driving to Orlando Airport? God, yes. I could be, be killed. <laughs> you don't know that place. It's dangerous. <laughs> it's dangerous there. 
If you said, what would we tell them if they brought her? The same thing, because uh, they brought my sister's dog down here too, Mr. Finnegan. That's how he got here. If you said, what did I say? Put a collar, a harness, two leashes, and do not let this thing get loose. If you said, what would I tell them about this dog? Don't even let it, just get it in the cage and don't open the door until you get here. <laughs> don't open the door until you get here. You so you want to just be full of surprises. Okay, that is the one that was sleeping. Okay, so now it's waking up. Now the other ones are falling asleep. So I'm going to cook some chicken. But you do want to be... If you said, what does the puppy's internal do? Oh, that just gets better and better. This just gets better and better. Not, not this again. Not sit again. Please not sit again. It's just going to lay down next to me. So if you said it's, it's making it that its place of choice, it seems to be. So I just suddenly reappear. You see, she's looking, she's saying, where's my chicken? With, chi with chicken. And I still remember that one guy, Susie's owner. I just got so mad because the dog didn't have any food drive. It was really obese anyway. The guy was a terrible handler. Not a mean person at all. A lot of these guys come across as really mean. The guy was really big and tall and you know, stern acting, it's, it's a disaster. You know, he went to the Edgewater Humane Society. If you said they saw that he was 84 years old and adopted him the right dog, no. No, they basically gave him a giant pit bull. And it dragged him down, it, it, it dislocated his hip, it just did all these things. But he didn't want to give it anything but these little snaps. I don't know how familiar you are with dog treats, but the worst treats that they have on the planet are these things called the little snaps. And he goes, she's going to like and get the... I said, no, she's not. No, she's not. You're going to get her the good treats. And if you said, did he? Probably not. If they have that entrenched belief that it's going to... So that's the one that was asleep. People always try to overanalyze. Oh, the one, the lazy one that this is. There's no lazy one. It's like a herd of puppies 24 7. Oh, you little tiny peanut. Them to say, oh, it just gets better and better. Not, not this again. If you said, I've never experienced that. You know, when you get these people that are just energy vampires, just texting every two seconds, still think about that one woman. They're no sooner home, and they're calling me with these inane questions about the training. Oh, do you use the stinger collar on all of them? Do you use the stinger? I am waiting for the day for these people to call me back so I can say, I've waited for this day a long time, fuck off. If you said, what's their name, don't worry, I know what it is. Doing, Chili's doing the chin rest. You know, if you said, I will go willingly and quickly to somebody that I know is going to correct me, especially if there's other people that might not do that, I'd say, not me. I'd unfriend somebody and go find someone new. 
That's what they're doing. You little peanut. They both did it. All right, listen guys, I'm gonna go make a video real quick. Cause I like doing the live, but the, um, it doesn't record in as high of a uh, quality of, you know what I mean? That's what I look back at all the stuff I shot live. On the on that iPhone 8 or whatever, it's terrible. I don't, I don't even like it. The color here is terrible. It's terrible. It looks terrible. Oh, they both did it. You know, my whole thing is if you said, "What are you trying to do?" Teach them that my heart finger is very surgical, gone. Not, it's gonna hang around and thump your head and tossle your ears in some condescending way. It's true, whoops. She's at the ready watch. bales over the side. There's like a little secret place back there. Okay, see, so now they're all falling asleep at this one. It's just people always like this in turn. Huh? Now this one's definitely the most. <laughs> That's gotta be, you know, it, it, you know, it would be just like anything. It's just, it's just like Disneyland. You have to think about Disney. Oh, we sure we've been there a bunch, but now there's something new. It just gets better and better. Now there's Harry Potter. Oh no, Harry Potter. You know, I'm better and better. Not worse and worse. Not not this again. <laughs> it's, it's you've got to keep that going. As she moved in, he grabbed it. You know, you do want a little bit of that, maybe, but not too much. You know, if you said what you you don't want that to be part of the behavior that we're her. <laughs> if you said what you know, I talk about that though. Fred has and stranger tree. He doesn't teach a hold. You don't have to tell anybody, Fred. It's very obvious. <laughs> if you said, has he ever confronted you? No. He's made videos though. He made a video about why the pager didn't work. Of a long time ago. Yeah. And I mean that's back when he was Mr. Oh, King of the King of the, the first e collar franchise. If you said, well, they have evolved. Evolved! They're not doing anything different. Fred went, oh man, there's Rich Rich or whatever. I just still remember that one guy, the original Mark from Dog Trap, when they first started the company. He wanted to come visit me. I said, I couldn't deal with it. 
but he went and visited Fred House, and he said, what did he say? He goes, he uses too much constant. He said, well, how much did this guy know about training dogs? Nothing. That's what he, that's what his exact words to me. He uses too much constant, and that was the only thing he could notice from the, what he saw. Yeah, that's what he took away from it. So why is the chicken good? It is. I mean, it's leaving an aftertaste in their mouth. Mm. Like you said, well, that gets you every time. Oh, it does. I oh, just have one bite. Okay, guys, I'll be back with um, the older dogs. I'll be back with some training here in a minute. 